Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Jamaica Public Service JPS customers are to see a drop in their electricity bills this month due to a reduction in world oil prices. According to the Light and Power Company, a typical residential customer will see a decline of about 8% in November bills compared to October. The National Housing Trust Board says it's going ahead with the development of the Altamani property despite calls for its resignation over the purchase. The board emerged from a meeting yesterday defending its decision to spend $180 million to buy the bankrupt tourist attraction in Trelawney. The Michael University College in Kingston says the University Council of Jamaica has now accredited three more of its degree programs. Acting President of Michael, Professor Carol Clark, says the business studies, family and consumer science and mathematics specializations offered at the Bachelor of Education secondary level have been approved. Jamaican Ambassador Courtney Ratcher has been appointed Chairman of the United Nations Intergovernmental Negotiations on Security Council Reform. In sports, West Indies women suffered a three-wicket defeat to Australia women in the opening one-day international of the International Cricket Council Women's Championship in Sydney. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will have isolated showers over northeastern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Jovan Johnson.